Well, I've taken the bottom of it off at this point and a uh, couple of little tricks here that you can do when you're straightening these you know you take your punch and you uh, you grind your rivets all flat you'll punch them out well this will dent up so this is a bucking bar you use a chunk of steel whatever you can go along straighten things back up sanded this off, I grinded it off, wire brushed it, so now I've got some hydrochloric acid here. And you want to do this outside or either make sure you have real good ventilation. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be painting this, but I want to get the rust out of here. Right over here, maybe you can see the smoke that comes off of it. You don't want to breathe this stuff. So it definitely will eat the eat the rust. So, but you have to get this all off completely, get it neutralized, cleaned off. At this point, I have two fans going. I don't know if you can see that haze in there, that's all the fumes coming off that hydrochloric acid is all in that rust. <clears throat> so, yeah, do this outside. Two fans is not enough going. All right, so here's a really dangerous thing. <clears throat> this bottle is HDPE. It's got the number two on it, high density polyethylene. Spraying acid is extremely dangerous. Yeah. You can see how that's fuming there. So we're gonna do this outside. So I poured that, got my fans going here. This stuff is dangerous. I'd say not only don't try this at home, don't even think about it. So now, hopefully you'll kind of be able to see what this stuff does. I mean, it, it really reacts. So I can back up here. that is like chlorine acid gas so <clears throat> you can see that it is extremely aggressive uh, a lot of people mix about 10 percent this is straight from the bottle and it's like 33 percent so it's very aggressive it'll strip it right down to steel bare steel but the thing is is it will immediately rust once this stuff's taken off. So you take this off, you, you use baking soda and water, and you rinse it with water, you sand it, you rinse it again, and then you dry it out, and then you get that sucker painted. So I'm gonna be drying it out with a, uh, a torch as soon as I get everything neutralized. Here's something, show you how powerful it is. Neutralizing this stuff. So you definitely want to do that. Paint the stove, I'm using this uh, VHT primer for uh, automotive. All right, so another thing I'm gonna do, uh, the VHT step I showed you is uh, pretty expensive. This is like 725 a can. So this asbestos stuff, original asbestos mat, I'm going to encapsulate that with some high temperature paint and it'll just keep it from being friable, which means it could put off dust. So this right here will just help to keep, uh, you know, any dust down out of the air and things like that. And that's all I'm going to do there. I'll paint this side of the box with the black spray paint once this is dried here. <clears throat> and then the other side of it, since that's the firebox, I'm gonna go ahead and I will coat that with the other paint since it's 650 degree finish coat. And this is a 500 degree, no, this is 2000. Well, actually I'll go ahead and 
do that side too with this. So anyway, basically <clears throat> those of you that don't know how to do this, you know, when you do spray paint, you just want to put on light coats. Don't try to cover it all at once because if you do, it's just not gonna work out right for you. Uh, put several light coats instead of one heavy coat on and you'll have a much better paint job and you have more control over things too. So this is just a flat black here. It's just what they had. And anyway, this stuff should work just fine for this. All right, we got the inside of it painted and you can see it starting to dry across there just light coats you'll get a good paint job on it and uh anyway that's what it should look like when it's wet now we're gonna do the uh bottom of this so i'm gonna paint the interior bottom portion first then i'll flip it over and i'll be able to mark it out fill my hole set my rivets when i'm done with everything then i'll paint the bottom so this steel comes from the factory with some kind of grease or something on it so the first thing before i sand it i'm going to take that off some grease and wax remover you could use acetone or something like that anyway that's why this stuff is not rusted but it'll probably start rusting real quick now and I'll sand it down. I'm gonna just sand it down with 80 grit with a palm sander, right. and then I'll go ahead and I'll be painting it. Got this warm as a touch here. 